Hi guys. We're gonna to continue today with some more examples of vertex form. Now, before I get into our first example for today, I wanted to go over what I had written on the whiteboard during our activity in class today, just in case you didn't have a chance to write it down and you wanted to write it down in your notes. So in general, this is the equation for vertex form. And the letter A, in this equation will always be right in front of the letter X, just like it was for standard form. And also just like in standard form, the letter A tells us if it's gonna be right side up or upside down, negative would be upside down. And it also tells us how skinny or wide the parabola is going to be. If A is greater than one, the parabola will get skinnier. And if A is less than one, the parabola will get wider. And then if A equals one, then it's just a normal size parabola. Then we have the letter H, which will always be somehow attached to the letter X. So it should be grouped inside of some parentheses with the letter X. And the letter H tells us if it shifts to the left or the right, but because it's being subtracted, it's gonna go in the opposite direction of what you think. Remember, also yesterday we learned the trick where you can just take the whole parentheses and set it equal to zero and then solve for x, and that'll give you your axis of symmetry. Finally, we have the letter k, which will always be added or subtracted at the end of the problem after the square outside of the parentheses. And the letter k lets us know if the parabola moves up or down. So H and K are actually moving where the parabola exists, and then A is flipping it or making it wide or skinny. Okay, so that was just some general information that we went over during our live session. But let's do an example. So you can keep doing these on the flowchart worksheet um, if you find it helpful. Let's start with our axis of symmetry. So again, you can do x minus 1 equals 0, and then you would plus 1 to the other side, and you get x equals positive 1 for your axis of symmetry. Or it's just the opposite sign, right? So if it's a minus 1, you put positive 1. For our vertex, our x-coordinate will be the 1. And then since there's nothing being added at the end of the problem, our y-coordinate will be 0. So if there's nothing being added or subtracted after the square, then your y number is 0. In this problem, my A is positive 2. Positive A means it'll open up and it has a minimum. My domain, as always, is all real numbers. And for the range, since it's opening up, it's going to be greater than or equal to, and we use our Y coordinate, which was the number 0. We're gonna skip over the intercepts until we've graphed. So let's skip to graphing. I like to start with my axis of symmetry. You can use a dotted line or a highlighter to draw a nice vertical line going through the one on the X axis. Next, I'll draw my vertex. There's something special about the vertex. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. For this problem, my special ordered pairs will change because my letter A is the number two. So I'll need to take my Y coordinates and times them by two. My new special ordered pairs are one comma two. So from my vertex over one and up two and reflect. Look at where that dot is. Next we have two comma eight. Four times two is eight. So go back to your vertex go over two and up eight and reflect and then i won't be able to fit the next one so i'm not even going to worry about it 318 is not going to fit on the graph so i can ignore that one i'll go ahead and draw my skinny parabola right now it is skinnier because my a was greater than one okay now remember we skipped over writing the intercepts but hopefully you saw as we were drawing our parabola that we do have intercepts on this graph so we can now write down our intercepts our y-intercept is at two that's this dot right here and we only have one x-intercept this time because it was the vertex my x-intercept is at one 
So when the vertex is your x-intercept, then you only have one. This concludes our first video. We'll do one more example for vertex form, and then we'll be done with vertex form.